guys. Thanks for joining us for our Back to School Devos. We are going to talk about Samuel and Eli today. Um, we're going to talk about the first time that Samuel had an encounter with hearing God's voice. Uh, Samuel was about 12 years old and he served in the tabernacle with Eli. And um, as a matter of fact, he lived there. So um, they slept there and one night while Samuel was sleeping, he heard someone calling his name. So he got up and he went and asked Eli about it. And Eli was like, no, it wasn't me. Go back to sleep, Samuel. And uh, this happened a couple of times. Um, but we're going to read the scripture in 1 Samuel, and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. It's a pretty cool story. 1 Samuel 3, 7 through 10. Samuel did not yet know the Lord because he had never heard a message from the Lord before. So the Lord called a third time, and once more Samuel got up and went to Eli. Here I am, did you call me? Then Eli realized it was the Lord who was calling the boy. So he said to Samuel, Go and lie down again, and if someone calls again, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel went back to bed, and the Lord came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel replied, Speak, your servant is listening. I love this story so much for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's an incredible example of how important it is how important it is to have a mentor or leadership in your life. It's so important to have someone that you can go to that you know hears from the Lord and you can ask questions, things you're unsure about. You can talk to them about things in the Bible maybe that are unclear to you. And then second of all, the other thing I love about this text that I feel like the Lord has to remind me a lot is to speak less and listen more, right? Prayer is so important and God loves to hear from his children, but he also has a lot to tell you. So it is important that we cut out time to listen to God's voice, whether it, for me, it's different times. It's when I'm in my car possibly, and I, I decide to turn the music off. Worshiping in your car is one of my favorite things to do, but it's also, an important time that you can be quiet and it's just you and the Lord. Also, other times, like in the morning when you're having your coffee, you don't necessarily need to scroll through Instagram or um, check and see what's going on uh, in the world. Nobody wants to know that right now anyway. So the best thing to do is just sit and listen and let God speak to your heart. For me, in those times, it's when God reminds me of, you know, someone that I need to check in on or um, reminds me of um, points in scripture that he's been dealing with me about, um, scriptures that I've been meditating on, things like that. No one wants to call a friend and when you talk to them on the phone, all they do is talk and then they're like, oh, I got to go talk to you soon and hang up, right? You think, hey, I had something I wanted to tell you. So we don't want to do that with the Lord either. That's no way to build a relationship. You want to make sure that it is a conversation. You know, you we talk about wanting um, God to be our best friend, and that can't happen if you're just always talking. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, people say God gave us two ears and one mouth so that we would talk less and listen more. I feel like God's always reminded me, nudging me and reminding me of those things. If you know me, then you know. Um, sometimes I talk a lot. So uh, thank you for hanging out with us today. This has been an incredible time in the Word, and um, I hope you've enjoyed our devotionals, our back-to-school devotionals, and I hope we see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.